But I think what's even more important than not than fighting is like, did you ever like get in such a big fight that you didn't talk to each other for like nah, days that, or weeks? That's, that's but what I was gonna say. When we, we get to fight, that's what it be though. Oh but yeah. We finally, the little cold war after. It don't be a cold war. We just don't be talking. <laughs> like that shit, we that ain't on the internet tweaking with each other. Right. Like the other people don't know. It just. Oh, so you don't put it out there to the public nah, ever? Yeah. yeah. Ain't no shit like we be trying to kill each other. No weird shit like that. It's just we had a disagreement or we fought or some weird. Shit. We ain't been talking. We ain't been. You know. Right. We didn't have been avoiding each other type shit. Then we sue each other. We act like shit ain't never happened. Never happened. Right. Back to them. That's good. Because that's why I remember uh, when Gucci and Waka finally split up, I remember them saying that everybody thought they were cool, best friends. But then meanwhile, they're in the studio beating the shit out of each other, getting in fights and shit. And I was like, damn, that's kind of amazing as a fan that they were able to keep that low key. And, and the people already doing that? Yeah. Like when they were younger, like back when they were together, they were getting so. such intense shit fighting in the studio but the people never knew and then they finally broke up and Walker was honest about that but like that's pretty cool that they like never took any of that shit to the public yeah that's how it's supposed to be it's, yeah. it's family shit it's supposed to be in house right yeah, niggas gonna get into it man niggas gonna you know about to fight all type of shit you know right but so Duck when was Duck the first one to make music nah we all started skill. But did, was he the I first one to have success? Yeah, I say he probably was. He probably first because like to be what successful? No, nah, probably had the first had, making music. Yeah, at around the same time. <laughs> but he's probably had the first one and had like the real song at DJ Kim. And we trying to take us to DJ Kim. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. I say I let him talk first because like we all started rapping at the same time. But motherfucker made the studio, made their songs first. Mm -hmm. Like he was fucking with DJ Kim where uh, Keith was recording that. Right. Yeah. And shit, he was trying to take us and shit one time and shit, but I was trying to make a song, but like I think Keith was coming, so he had to uh just hurry up finish the song or some shit, cause you know, he was he was more into Keith. That was the hottest one. Right. So but Duck was him. looking at Keith as like, oh shit, he rapping and he's representing this shit, so I wanna do my thing. No, nah, not that time. At that time. It wasn't it was even like that yet? Like, that shit happened so quick. Mm. Like it was just when motherfucker was just in the studio, motherfucker was just in the hallway smoking or some shit. And then this shit just happened so quick, motherfuckers just couldn't even be around each other. Mm. It was crazy. Damn. But I ain't like really know Keith like that though. I just sent him a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Um. So were you guys like genuinely listening to his music at that time? Negative. Negative. People was though. Like he had one little song. Let me hear. Uh, see, like. Whoa. Yeah, he had some yeah. songs. Let's be real, that you couldn't avoid. Nah, it's, no, he you can't. Shit before you can't, yo, you can't before avoid that. You've shit been forced like, to listen to Finito mad times in your life, like it or not. But you going in there <laughs> listening to it, like I'm playing this shit, yeah, yeah. like. But you can't avoid not hearing this shit at one point in time. Right. No, nah, but, but he talking about like before all that shit. Was motherfuckers going to listen to that shit? Uh, no, let's get it. That key, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, you saying like before motherfuckers we, split before up? Before 300 and all that type shit, Key. Yeah. We, we, damn. Because yeah. Ken told us, like, pay attention to him. Mm. Y'all come in this bitch, just freestyle y'all songs, and he come in this bitch and write his shit. But they weren't trying to, they shit. weren't trying to claim Ken? I don't, it wasn't I don't, like that yet. I don't even think Ken was even letting them know he was recording us type shit. Right. He was keeping us trying to keep us separated type Yo, shit. Yo, but that is a mad funny thing about like songs being played around people where now it's like you ever see that clip of uh what's her name? Yaya Mayweather and she's in the club and they're playing Dirk or some shit. And she getting all mad in the fucking corner. And it's yeah. like, oh man, this is like it's so easy to troll people now because you can just play their ops music and, and get a clip for the gram. That shit, but that shit been happening up since I don't know. I'm sure, yeah. And since the beginning of that shit. You know? <laughs> we started off like, man, you couldn't play no key song. You can't you ride, ride down through, our hood, none of that shit. throwing shit at you, busting your shit, but then it got like, we can't. We can't, can't it's on the radio. You can't can't do avoid shit. not hearing that shit, so you like, man, we got to turn down. Now we, it went, went to a point where we looking crazy for, turn that shit off. Mm. So like, we ain't even on that, we ain't gonna do that shit no more. Right. Unless you really saying, like he's saying, fuck our homie and that shit, then you, you can't play that shit. For sure. But uh, okay, so how, how, like, I don't know, like with Ruga or uh, excuse me, with Duck's career kind of blowing up, like, how did y'all, did you guys just sort of like take position as he was coming up, and do you, were you guys all like working as a team, or like what what did the mentality become as he started to get more more momentum? Shit, how folks was putting this shit, we often get lit like this type shit if we all work hard as hell. Cause that's all he was doing. That's how he was putting the shit to us. Like, you see where the fuck I'm going? Mm -hmm. Motherfucking get, get get the same shit type shit. Right. Motherfucker just gotta be. Cause folks in the studio every day type shit, shooting the video every day type shit. He, he on that type shit. Like that's, you know. Right. You steal that shit in me. Then cash just came and just 
overtime that shit type shit. Yeah, so what what years was Cash gone that he was locked up? A lot of most of them is <laughs> right because he because he had a little movement when like a long ass time ago, but like then that stopped in what like twenty thirteen or twenty fourteen or something. I'm, I'm fucked up with the time schedule and all that shit. But I know that nigga was gonna like every time he get locked up, he probably get locked up for like four years or mm. shit like that. So and he he got locked up by like three four times. So shit, you know. You know what's crazy to think about? I was just watching um Trapalo Ross, this YouTuber. He did a documentary about um, No Limit and all them, G Herbo. And it's like three hours long. It's the craziest, most in-depth shit. When you watch it, it is like the most mind-blowing amount of death that happened on both sides of this thing. It's fucking insane. And one thing that really just stood out to me is like how the glory days of drill being documented on the internet was definitely that like 2010 to like 2013 window because that's when you had everybody tweeting whatever you had motherfuckers uh there was a series that you guys probably used to watch all the time like no lacking or whatever that it was like these dudes just filming themselves going to the op blocks whatever like it was the craziest shit i ever seen it's wild to think I about we started that shit <laughs> you started it yeah, hold on. i like I got videos on that shit on yeah, YouTube all the way like 2009, 2010 on the house block type shit. Oh, okay. So they didn't start the trend? Nah. Nah, we started a lot of shit though. Like, <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna. Niggas just don't really fuck with us. So niggas take our shit and uh, they get the credit for it. Right. But it's just when you think about that time period, how open everybody was and how oblivious they were to niggas the fact that the cops dumb. were going to see this. Yeah. They weren't, they weren't, niggas were just young and dumb, bro, just speaking their mind. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I, I had to realize that shit, because shit, I had a case and shit. I said some shit on the motherfucking, mm. on Facebook, and the judge and you know, them came and said, I threatened the judge, some of them kill them, all type of shit, type of shit, you know? Right. Yeah. But, I mean, now, even the dumbest motherfuckers seem like they get it. So that they got to be, nah, but there, no, no, there's a lot of examples that come to mind right away of some <laughs> dumbass shit that motherfuckers who should know better did in recent memory telling on themselves, so... Yeah, I look at that shit now because I don't know we've been doing that shit for so long. Like then at six, seven, eight, nine, ten years ago, I look at everybody who do that shit now. Like either you just doing that for attention to get some clout, or you just dumb as hell. They was going to jail. No, they ain't trying to go to jail. They, they ain't doing shit. They, they ain't they doing shit. They on the shit. internet tweaking like that. Because this shit real. This shit, niggas really, I like, could be, you know I, could be, I don't know. I just look at niggas like, they ain't doing shit. They doing that dumb ass shit. They trying to get some clout. I mean, it must feel way different to be locked up for a body and they caught you because of some DNA or security cameras or whatever versus, like, you're locked up for a body and it's because you told on yourself on Instagram. Well, well, <laughs> that must be a way well, different well, well, feeling. Well, okay. <laughs> that shit, the dumb shit. Uh, for the like, that's got to be a dark 25 years in there, you know? Just thinking about, like, damn, I shouldn't have fucking somehow implicated myself on social media for clout. That hurts. <laughs> that hurts. You know anybody that you you feel like that's probably their predicament? I, I'm trying to think. I don't know nobody that done. Yeah. I be just seeing motherfuckers on the internet. Like, I don't know nobody person. Yeah, well, a couple of the people who got their ass incriminated got cooked off the off oh, Instagram, of the, off the internet, off oh, everything oh, no. type shit. You be see, you just see this shit unfold in front of your eye. I said like on the internet, like not personally, like who personally. I ain't talking about fool now. <laughs> <laughs> you just say sure you don't go down I, to I, it. Yeah, I on don't the really internet, you supposed to be. You but, know but to be fair, I think the situation you're referring to, that's just one part of the evidence that they might have. That's true, though. You know? But that's a big part, though. Really, it's yeah. definitely a good part if you're going to be there in court trying to make the fucking case. But then at the same time, I mean, all them cameras and everything else probably pretty yeah. powerful, too. Yeah. Uh, uh, I do you know, you know? Yeah. Definitely. Um, did you see this thing uh, that basically that said, dude, Trapple or Ross, who I'm talking about, he, at one point, he had a video out about Vaughn, and in the video, he was running through all these potential murders that Vaughn was accused of, and he ended up getting hit up on Instagram, basically, by this account, and he's kind of not paying attention to the account, but the account's borderline telling him, like, we're going to kill you if you don't delete those King Vaughn videos, and so then he gets hit with three copyright strikes on the videos at the same time like basically somebody's got god mode hacker skills and they're trying to take down his channel 
and he gets hit up by that Instagram account again, basically being like, yo, delete the shit about KI in the video and we'll let your channel live. And so he deleted the shit out there and then boom, it gets, the channel stays up and then we find out later that the cops are saying that they think that that was the murder that they actually had the evidence to prove that he did. Thoughts? I don't know. I don't know nothing about none of that shit, man. That's crazy. They got hackers out here, though. They got all type of shit going on. They love, they love him. They got hackers doing, telling motherfuckers to delete some shit. Well, if somebody got some power around him. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What type of video they had about K.I., though? It was basically just him laying out Trap Lord Ross laying out the evidence of like, look at these tweets, look at these DMs from when they hacked her account, look at whatever, just all this shit, and like, look at all these little things that make us think that he he might have killed her, and it's just kind of eerie that then that like people were that upset about that, and then that's the one that the cops said that they would would have arrested him for if he was still alive. I ain't gonna lie, I think the police just did I was, that shit I was just, just about to say that. You ever seen the wire? Yeah. You know how they was trying to do their clearance rate shit? Right. They want to solve as many murders as possible. And yeah, they, I think that, yeah. Anybody who did and all that shit, they be solving their shit or they kill, do the, you know, right. type shit like that type. But this is such a drill rapper and interview tactic where you don't ever want to credit the other side with anything. I ain't, I ain't never said you no gotta, shit. Look, <laughs> nah, you, look, you got to ask us a different question. Like, uh, like, how was he? Then we'll tell you, no, like, look, a real shit. I'll like, tell you how just I situation think the Chicago like, police is because they just yeah. came out and just... He tried to think you ain't It's not just, it, but it's not just with his situation, with Shorty's yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of motherfuckers from the city that they just came. All the unsolved shit, all of a sudden they solved now. So you, you, have, you have homies that got killed and, like, there's a killer who was arrested, but you don't buy it? Like, the cops put it on somebody just to get the case closed, but you don't think that they actually figured that shit out? No, that's different. That's a little different. Oh. I don't, we, I don't, that's... I don't, people don't be getting caught like that. It's just in the city of the Chicago type shit. Right. Unless somebody really like tell or they get like caught in the act of that shit. You see what I'm saying? You feel like the kids feel emboldened like they're just not going to get caught? I got shit. That's down now. I don't know. I can only think of my perspective when I was there age type shit. If we down there knew we were not getting caught type shit. You knew it. You knew you were not getting caught. That's shit. scary. See, that's that's like, like the politician's worst nightmare is that that's how kids feel. Is that this is just consequenceless crime. Yeah. I don't know how they feel. I know they out here dangerous though. Especially the new kids. They got switches. Yeah. 50s. Switches taking over the game, huh? Hundreds. Them took over and the they game. all got them. Mm-hmm. That shit crazy. They all got a. Oh How you feel about Lil Zay Osama getting caught with the switch in uh in New York, left in the Uber? Man, he crazy. <laughs> oh, what's to the man? I know y'all ain't stingy with that L though. It's cold. <laughs> Yeah, y'all can turn it crazy. down. Sorry, he's I shaking. Be cold as hell. Y'all be shaking like a motherfucker. I don't know where the thermostat's at, but yeah, I don't know. sorry. Um. Yeah, that shit crazy, though, especially we look mad crazy because we did an interview right before that where he was talking about New York gun laws and how bad the gun laws are. And if you get caught with anything out there, you're doing all this time, yada, yada. Then he gets caught like fucking two weeks later. Horse plan. They're trying to put it on the Uber driver, though. They're trying to say that was his switch. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> was. <laughs> Probably was. Probably was, shit. Oh, that was, yeah. <laughs> See, at a time like that, if you're in court trying to make the argument of it was the Uber driver switch, you're going to really regret having all those songs where you talked about having switches. Is you snitching, though? I'm, but what do I know? I'm saying, like, is he snitching? Like, is that the the Uber driver? You know, he in that bitch. Like, that ain't my switch. Boy, that's the Uber driver gun. But it's not like he could ever (laughs) say it was the Uber driver's gun. He can only say it might have been his, so you can't prove that it's mine. Don't say nothing, man. I, ain't, I don't know. How many Uber drivers carry a fucking switch around? You never know. Everybody be having all type of stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I don't know. Uber, Uber yeah. drivers ain't nobody oh, shit. No. They, they regular, regular people. people. Oh, for the... Some of them. <laughs> what the, what you Everybody think regular person. I'm oh, just saying, in New York City, where the gun laws are like gnarly as fuck, you're getting like 10 years in federal prison for having that. The average Uber driver, even if they carry a gun, is not carrying that gun. And I feel for him because I don't want to see him locked up at all. But, uh, I mean, it's definitely not looking good. You don't like switches? Uh, well, it's not that I don't like them. I don't really feel like I require one in my day-to-day life. 
I'm going to say you might get you one. Yeah, <laughs> after this conversation. It's up there, man. That shit yeah. crazy. Yeah? You ever shot one? Who, me? At the I range? I never shot nothing. Oh. That's fair. Um, Yeah, but I don't know. Like, I remember when I was interviewing PGF Nook, he told me that the Switch War is like, you just need one these days, that you you just straight lacking if you don't have one. Is that the, actually the attitude in Chicago? That's my attitude in Chicago. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that out there for the city, but shit. If you smart, you better get one shit because everybody got one. But how is it smart when you're going to do 10 years or whatever the fuck they're talking about? You going to jail? I mean, the, the laws are crazy. You haven't looked into this? No, I'm saying you're going to jail. Me? Yeah. I mean, not at this time because hey, I so haven't got caught with a switch. <laughs> we talk about the laws if you ain't going to jail. Yeah, but it's pretty easy to get searched, right? You trying to get stopped? <laughs> you going, I'm not trying to get stopped. You, get, but, you pulling over to talk to them with the switch? If in the they car? try to pull me over, I'm probably going to have to. What, you, you're you a fan of the high-speed chase? I'm you not a fan of nothing, man. <laughs> you <laughs> if you carry a switch, you damn that know what you got to do. You, shit. You, what you going to do? What you, you know? So if you got a switch, you have to run from the cops. I, I guess mean, that's fair. Shit, that'd be smart, shit. You, you just heard, you said the gun laws and shit crazy, right? Right. But do you think of it like that in Chicago where you get caught with that shit, you're fucked too? No, I don't think niggas really think about it. It's really just about survival, though. Mm. Yeah, like that jail shit be like motherfucker being that bitch fighting and be back home. Motherfucker and bitch get healthy, come back, you know. Motherfucker be decent in jail. Right. Motherfucker get their ass blicked down. Ain't none of that come back. Now you ain't come back. You been that bitch left. Right. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.